I want to save my third dates and the endings for like later. So, um, we could do Craig, Matt, or Brian. Yeah, I was thinking Craig might be a good choice. Just to see what he's up to. Maybe we can actually spend some like, you know, quality time with him instead of being dragged away by something, you know? Ever since the first time we hung out, I've been trying to get up a little early for runs. I don't think I'm going to be as embarrassing as last time. Maybe I'll even be able to catch up with him now. Fat chance, but... Let's see what Craig's up to. Been training on my run game recently. Ready for a round two? <laughs> Dude, of course! Emojis. I don't know why he didn't send an emoji. That's funny. Let's meet up early tomorrow morning for my favorite morning activity. Brunch. Brunch? What's that? You run, and then you get brunch. Ow. Oh, I get it. That makes sense. Can't we do, like, a salad night? Who wants to do a salad night when you can have a pizza night? That's stupid. I formed the committee to examine the possibility of being on a health kick. They haven't returned with their findings. <sighs> Dad, if you go on a health kick, then I have to go on a health kick by virtue of being under the same roof as you. I don't know if I have the constitution for that. I understand you, Amanda. I get you, girl. The committee is still out. This is a multi-year assessment on several bureaucratic levels. All right. And she's gonna get an extra large pizza with chicken bacon, cheese, and tomatoes. I was kind of sold until the tomatoes. I mean, the tomatoes are okay, but I'd rather just have the meat and the cheese and like nothing else. You're going a little north here. Can you maybe throw some leaves in there or something? Yeah, um, he's going on a health kick. Hmm. Mm. Dad, is oregano a salad? <laughs> Oregano is a salad. <laughs> uh. Huh. Uh. Mm, pizza. Running is a gateway drug. It's a slippery slope, Dad. First you go on a couple light jogs, and before you know it, you're converting the garage to a home gym and renewing your subscription to some sort of weekly <laughs> delivery service. I have to say that, like, I don't find exercise to be particularly addicting. I'm doing it to try and, like, lose some weight, but... I don't, f I don't have that, like, feeling of, like, oh my god, I have to go work out. I have to push myself, and working out is so good. <laughs> hmm. I'm running yeah. with Craig tomorrow. Are you going to be able to keep up with him? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, have you seen that guy? He's ripped, and he's in shape. And, oh my god, no, that's just not, that's just hey. not gonna happen. Hey, bro. What a Craig. River gonna be running with us? Best as she can. We're taking it to the limit, aren't we, kiddo? Oh. Aww. Oh. That's Arnold the capybara. Sometimes it's the only thing that'll get her to stop crying. I mean, she wasn't crying. But, you know, you've been running lately? Every morning for 30 minutes. I'm basically an, an elite athlete by this point. <laughs> I'll try and keep up. Where are we headed? Mm -hmm. We could do a couple laps around the park. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Oh. Then we'll do some hill climbs up a slope. I can probably handle that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll close it off by doing some wilderness survival hike running to increase our agility. Come on, Craig. That, that's too much for nice. me. That sound okay for you? I usually like to throw in some time to murder sprints in there, but I'll go easy on you since you're a beginner. That... <laughs> that sounds like something I'm able to physically do. I don't know, dude. I... Runner's high is a thing. It's addicting for a bit, and if you fall off, you just kind of slouch. I don't run, I guess. Like, I do the treadmill at the gym, and... Basically what I've been doing is I've been putting it on a high setting and then just kind of increasing my stamina, I guess. Just seeing, like, 
how much longer I can stay running on the treadmill before I like run out of breath, but I only just I only do that because it's better than just walking on the treadmill Yay. and not because like I like to, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Hey! Dude! Oh jeez. Oh. You gotta hydrate, bro. <laughs> uh running does feel uh, running. Water does feel really good when you're working out, for sure. You gotta keep hydrated. Pick up all that um uh, sweat, you know? Hmm. Hey! My body is collapsing in on itself. Probably want to remain positive. We gotta try and keep up to Craig here. Oh. We finally finish our however many teenth lap around the park. I'm breathing heavily, but I can't believe I actually didn't lose Craig. He's even breathing heavily too, which makes me feel a little better. I look down at my shirt and notice I'm drenched in sweat. Almost looks like a frowny face. <laughs> hey! Good hustle out there. I'm really impressed. You're way better than the last time I launched you off a treadmill. <laughs> Yeah, man, you pushed me to my limit just now. I can't believe I held on. Oh. You just need people there to push you to do your absolute best. Aw. You are that bro. Who is ready for hill climbs? Not me. Ugh. Oh. You ready? <laughs> Ugh. You bet. <laughs> oh, boy. You are jogging in a suit. That is true. I am jogging in a suit. Unle I mean, unless the suit is just my character portrait and I've actually changed. Hmm. <laughs> but if I was jogging in a suit, that would be pretty awkward. Hmm. There's two things you need to know about this hill. One, don't stop running till you get to the top. And two, Dude. that's not the top. <laughs> Let's do this! Oh. <coughs> oh god I would die my lungs are like daggers poking my ribs I can feel my heart in my ears river I'm having a moment please oh boy <laughs> so he is human Dixie put your arms on your head and stretch out your elbows it'll help you breathe better Oh. and here <laughs> Have some more water. I hydrate like my life depends on it. Bro. Phenomenal work. You feel that lightness in your head? That's the runner's high. Oh, that's it. I thought I was just, you know, dying. <laughs> uh. oh. River starts crying. Ah. The baby's crying. She looks so sad. Hey. I think we lost Arnold. Dude. Again? I picked it up for her earlier. It should be simple, right? We just gotta retrace our steps. I remember River last having it down at the bottom of the hill. Oh god, we gotta go back down the hill and then back up the hill? Hmm. We have to go find the capybara for Miss River. Looks like this is a prime case for world-renowned Detective Normus. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's time for a bro adventure. A bro venture! <laughs> Hmm. It looks like there's a couple more places to check and some bros around here we can interrogate. Nice. Who's good cop and who's bad cop? Well, I think that with your stature and overall resilience, you would make an intimidating bad cop. But on the other hand, you do have an adorable baby strapped to your chest, so that softens the edge a bit. Hmm. All valid points. I think you'd make a great good cop because of your congenial attitude and willingness to try new things. But then again, I've seen how you get when there are too many commercial breaks during your show, so you have the potential to be a scary bad cop. <laughs> I don't want to have to watch Meat Hell in three minute segments with five minutes of commercials in between. And they're loud! The commercials are too loud! I just want to watch my shows in peace without people yelling at me to buy wiper fluid and stuff! <laughs> nice! Case in point! <laughs> Let's play it moment by moment. Mm -hmm. Smart. Mm. Where to, protective? Oh dear, I guess we gotta look around for her toy. You guys look too damn old to be saying bro venture. I look a lot older than he does. Craig still looks pretty, you know, young and fit. Let's go look at the playground. I don't 
know that we were in the playground. I think we did some laps around the park, though. Oh, Joseph's here. <laughs> Let's interrogate Joseph, I guess. Probably with his creepy kids. Joseph! Yeah. Hey, guys, didn't think I'd see you two out here. Dixie, are you exercising? Sure am, you know me. I just love to run and uh, be healthy. That's kind of my whole thing. <laughs> what are you reading? Oh. Just a book on knots and rope tying. Right. What? Okay. Oh. For boats, boat ropes. Right. Mm. You didn't happen to see a stuffed capybara around here? Oh. What's a capybara? <laughs> oh. It's a large rodent that's native to South America. <laughs> Haven't seen one around. I'll tell the kids to keep an eye out. Your kids are here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, his kids must be here. Because it would be weird for, like, a grown man to be sitting in the children's park with no children reading a book about knots. That's a stupid question. Oh, where are your kids? Well, if obviously his kids are oh. here, or at least I would... I uh, hope so. <laughs> Do you know where they could have run off to? They're kids. They get into mischief sometimes, but they always come back. That sounds a little suspect, Joseph. <laughs> mischief, you say? Oh, I, uh, wait, am I being interrogated right now? <laughs> Thank you for your time, citizen. <laughs> Thanks, Joseph. We'll let you get back to your rope book. <laughs> Boat ropes! Right. Boat ropes, just like you love your wife. Isn't that right, Joseph? Look for clues. Craig and I, two grown adults, walk onto the playground and begin examining it meticulously for clues. No forensic evidence, no straight capybara hairs at least. Maybe having a little swing might calm River down, might buy us some more time. You're right, she's about to go nuclear. This might prepare for the possibility of us not being able to find Arnold. Life is cruel and tough, but at least we'll always have swings. Oh no, you're stuck. Bench Craig helps me out of the swing and we decide to get back to the investigation. Um, let's go to another part of the park. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Let's go to the field. Looks like Matt and Carmen Sita are at the park. We can talk to them. Uh -huh. Hey, dudes. Hey, bro. We just sat down for a picnic. Want some snacks? Hmm. Got anything to increase my glycogen reserves? We have apple slices. Oh. Thank you very much, tiny bro, but I should be fine. <laughs> you guys working out? Good day for it. I'm the picture of health and athleticism. Oh. Good transition, Dixie. Say, you haven't seen a stuffed capybara around here, have you? Hmm. What's a capybara? Do you, none of you people know what a capybara is? It's a large rodent that's native to South America. Thank you, Carmen Cita. Thank you. Wait a second, how do you know what a capybara is? You wouldn't happen to have had hands-on experience with one recently, would you? We learned about capybaras in the fourth grade. I think it's more suspicious that you know what a capybara is. Hey, uh... Oh my god, what if I took Arnold? What if I'm the culprit and I just don't remember? I quickly find my body- f I quickly check my body for any poilers I would have taken on my person to remind me of who to trust and who not to trust. That would be the shits to think that like the stuffed animal would just be like hiding in my pocket <laughs> without me knowing. I saw a couple squirrels over by that tree though. I don't know if that helps, but if you want to see cute squirrels, you should definitely check it out. Huh. Thanks for the hot squirrel tip, Carmen mm. Cita. Oh. We must track down the capybara. Interrogate River. Probably don't want to interrogate the kid, because, I mean, she's already upset enough as it is. Oh. We're gonna go find those damn squirrels. I wonder if the squirrels... Oh no, the squirrels don't have it, but they make the baby happy, so that's good. Um... 
look for clues. Because I thought it was around here that the, the oh. capybara was hanging out. This is Arnold's leg. Oh no! No one should have to be subjected to this senseless violence. My god, who or what would do this? Oh. I don't know, but I think we might be dealing with something beyond our grasp. I wonder if a dog or something took him. Oh. We're running out of time. We may already be too late. Bag and tag it. Let's keep moving. Um. All right. I've dad deuced or we should go next. We should go to the woods. Oh, Robert's here. With his dog, possibly. Possibly the dog that he stole or found. Maybe it's the same dog. Hey, Rob. Don't call me that. Okay, uh, Robert. Don't call me that either. Um, okay. Okay, hey, buddy. Oh. What are you up oh. to? Thinking. This is my thinking bench. Mm. I have to get a solid two to three hours of brooding in per day. Filling quotas. Oh. Have you by any chance seen a small stuffed capybara around? A capybara oh. is. It's a large rodent native to South America, I know. Mm. Have you seen one? Hey. A stuffed one, not a real one. That would be weird. Hmm. Be good cop. Come on, Robert. The sooner you tell us what you know, the sooner we can let you get back to brooding. Huh. Bad cop time, Robert. If you don't help us, I'm gonna put you in a headlock. Mm. Is that a threat or a promise? I don't know. Whoa. Slow down. <laughs> back off. <laughs> okay? He... That didn't go well. He didn't tell us anything. I guess there's no dog, though, if he's just brooding to himself, so... This is probably the hot spot for edgy teens to hang out at night and say swears and stuff, but it doesn't look like there's any recent activity that might be capybara related. This might be a dead end, partner bro. Hmm. I'm running out of ideas. We don't really have anywhere to go. Really. Interrogate the baby, oh. maybe. Nice. Let's play good cop with the baby. Hey, sweetie, believe me, nobody wants to find your capybara more than me, but we need some clues, and I think somewhere in that baby brain of yours, you might have, you might have something to lead us to that perp. What do you say, kiddo? We're getting nowhere with the witness. Man, there's really not a lot I can do here. Unless I have to do different dialogue options um, with the, the other people. Like, we can maybe talk to Joseph again and uh, give him like a different option. Or ask him about his kids. Oh god, I bet you his kids took it. Because his kids like to dissect their toys and stuff like that. So maybe his kids got a hold of it and they're doing like one of their like creepy... Uh like, doll dissections, Ugh. you know what I mean? That sounds a little suspect, Joseph. Oh. Only if you did something wrong. What are you hiding, Joseph? <laughs> Whoa, kinda getting a third degree here. This is serious, there's a capybara on the line. You're more than welcome to ask Christian and Christy. I imagine they have their ears to the ground and all the latest playground drama that might be somewhere around the woods. Okay, so. Oh. Uh, that I imagine his kids probably have it. That's gonna be my guess. River's still holding it together, but not for long. Her tiny eyes betray a barely concealed boiling rage just beneath the surface or something. She's a baby. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we need to go talk to his kids. His fucking weird ass, uh, whatchamacallit, his, um, like, creepy shining children. Oh, Christ, what now? Robert, I'm gonna keep being vaguely threatening until you tell us something useful. I haven't seen any goddamn capybara, okay? I was really nailing the bad cop bit, too. I thought for sure we had something. Nice. 
Now what, bro? Joseph said his twins were around here somewhere, but I have no idea where we're supposed to find them. Oh. Wait, those creepy kids? Why didn't you tell me they had something to do with this? Maybe I should have left the good cop, bad cop routine to the pros. Bro. Yeah, Robert, bro, do you know where they are? I do. A lot of people underestimate the senses of the man who broods. I saw them lurking around here a little while ago. Where'd they go? Uh. Ran into the woods. I'd be careful, though. I don't trust them. But then again, I don't trust anyone. Oh, Robert's the best. Mm. Not even you guys. Mm. Not even that baby. <laughs> mm. I take that back. You're an old soul, kiddo. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would say definitely his his kids probably have it. Oh, I guess if we maybe we could have done it faster and found the capybara. Oh, I wish it would have known that. I would have liked to find her toy. But I guess we took too long, maybe, or something. Maybe it only allows you to have, like, a certain amount of, like, dialogue options. I'm so bad at these dates. I keep fucking them up. Eh? Afternoon, actually. Mm -hmm. Right. How was brunch? Well, we had a good time with the run part, but we didn't make it to the rest of the portmanteau. Hmm. We didn't make it to brunch. Somehow we lost Rover's toy, a capybara, on our run. A capybara is... Dad. Don't patronize me about giant rodents, I know. We figured out that Joseph's creepy twins had something to do with it, but we never got to the bottom Aww. of it. I can always reload and go through that again. Whoa. And I can try and actually get to the bottom of it. I made some good, like, dialogue choices with Craig. I got a couple of hearts out of him, but I have a feeling not finding his daughter's toy is gonna not get me set up to be in the best of his books, you know? Good form out there. <sighs> See, this is like the third day today I've got to be on. Welcome. You've got I am bags. a sad panda. I'm trying so hard. 